We were trying to blind people all summer 18. Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So happy summer. This is like my favorite time of year besides Christmas. I am an island girl at heart, so there is nothing that makes me happier than some sun, some beach, some sand, some glue. So today I wanted to go over my top 10 all-time favorite products to achieve that summer glow on your face, on your eyes, on your skin. Like we're gonna go through it all and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, what you need to use to be that glowing goddess all summer 18. If you know me, you know I love all things glow, so I'm hyped for this video. Let's just jump straight into it. All right, so first let's talk primers. You gotta use the right kind of primers to prep your skin for the whole dewy look. Now there's a huge difference between looking dewy and looking shiny. And the main difference there is just looking dewy in all the right spots. So I have three favorite primers that I absolutely love. They're just gonna give you that right base so once you put on your foundation, it just looks like you're glowing from within. So first off is the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. This stuff is glorious. And this is the gold one. I know they just came out with a rose gold one, but I'm not gonna pick that up until this is finished. And I absolutely love it. Let me swatch it for you. All right, so here's a swatch, guys. Here is a thick swatch, obviously not rubbed in. I rubbed it in underneath here. You can just see that little sheen. So I actually really love to use these dew drops in conjunction with the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. It is like, the two are a match made in heaven. This is actually my all-time favorite primer for any day, any time. It is super moisturizing. That coconut in there gives your skin that moisture but it's not gonna make you like oily and greasy and slick. It's just, it's just perfect. All right, and the third primer is the Strobing Cream by NYX in the shade Away We Glow. So this is actually fairly similar to the Dew Drops. Same idea, it's gonna give you that golden radiance that's gonna like peek through your foundation once it's on, but this is actually considerably cheaper. So if you're balling on a budget, you might wanna try this one out first. It's amazing, it works pretty much the same and I absolutely love it. All right, so we spoke about primers, now let's talk foundation. So my ideal foundation is something that has SPF in it, something that is lightweight so you don't feel it but still offers buildable coverage, and something that is a natural finish as opposed to a matte finish. So if you follow me, you already know like I live and die by this foundation, and that is the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. This stuff is balm. Your skin, it just looks smooth. You're not gonna look crusty. It's light enough to look like, hmm, is that her skin or is that foundation? I'm not sure. You know, it's what I have on right now. It's very, very lightweight, so it's great for summer. Your face won't be all caked up. You know, you kind of want something lighter for the summer because it's hot and you don't want to just be sweating and looking like a hot mess. I've also worn this actually like to the beach for a few photo shoots and even through sweating and stuff, it still holds its own and it doesn't look splotchy or weird. It just, I don't know man, it just, this is just magic in a bottle and I highly recommend. For reference, I wear shade tan Y480. All right, now let's talk highlighters. Probably like the highlight of this video. <gasps> you see what I did there? <laughs> so, I'm so corny. So I have three go-to highlighters. Now for highlighters, I'm super picky. I absolutely hate when they look chalky, when they look too powdery. You know, I prefer the ones that look just dewy and kind of melt into your skin and just look like you woke up that way. So the first one I wanna chat about is by Too Faced. It's called their Love Light Prismatic Highlighter, and this is the shade You Light Up My Life. So this is a very golden highlighter, and I have a very yellow undertone, so I find that golden highlighters look just juicy and natural on my skin. The thing I like about this highlighter is that it's not one of those that are blinding, but it is buildable. Let me swatch this for you. So here's how it looks swatched. It's just a nice buttery highlighter. I like to use it on its own for days where I want to glow, but not like glow. Um, and then other times I'll use it as a highlighter base for when I want to glow. 
The next highlighter that I absolutely love is by Dose of Colors. It is their highlighter in the shade Mirame, which is a nice rose gold. Alright, so this is what it looks like swatched next to the Too Faced highlighter. As you can see, the reflects in this one are a bit more intense and it's more like attention grabbing than the other golden one. So sometimes I like to layer the two and it just makes like a beautiful summer glow. My last but certainly not least favorite highlighter is by Fenty. Another piece of their Beach Please collection is their Kilowatt Foil in the shades 7 Day Weekend and Pool Slide. This is absolutely stunning. So I'm wearing the lighter purple shade which is called 7 Day Weekend on my cheeks right now. And I mean I would have never thought like ooh let me get a purple highlighter but I mean I feel like it just kind of speaks for itself. This is like Stunning. Another thing I like about this is that you can actually also use it as eyeshadow. Here are those two swatched. And let me show you how 7 Day Weekend looks on top of Poolside. It is it's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Match made in heaven. Alright, I also wanted to include something for the eyes as well. I recently picked up a mini palette that is going to travel with me everywhere this summer. It is absolutely the bomb.com and the shimmers in there are... I just, words can't even describe how much I love this freaking palette. This is one of the mini Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and this one is called the Coral Obsessions. So this comes with seven mattes and two shimmers. So how gorgeous are these colors though? It screams summer to me. But what I really love about this palette are the shimmers. They are the luscious. Let me just swatch them for you. One is like an orangey peachy shade with some yellow gold reflex in it. And the other one is a pink shade that's got just like a rose gold vibe going on. And they are absolutely Sunny. You know what? I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the orange on my eyelid right now so you can see like how it looks on your eyelids. Oh, see, do you see that pigment? Pigment. I also really love the fact that this palette has a mirror. That makes me really happy. You see? Do you see it happening? This palette is just the bomb.com and it makes me really happy. Alright, and then if your face is going to be Team Dewy, the rest of your skin on the rest of your body has got to be Team Dewy as well. So I have two favorite body glows and I use them for specific occasions and I'm about to tell you why. So the first one is the Fenty Beauty Body Lava in the shade Brown Sugar. This is delicious! This is like glow times a thousand in a bottle and it's it just makes me very happy my only issue with it is that it does get sticky so because of that I wouldn't wear this out for like a special occasion or like a girls night out to the club or anything you just feel sticky and you feel kind of dirty like a hot mess um, where I would wear this is the beach at the beach I get sticky anyway just because it's hot and sticky and then when that Sun hits when this is on your skin on the beach girl this is major key, summer 18. And then for those times when you do still want to glow, you want to look nice and juicy and just, like you're just a glowing goddess, then I like to reach for my Jouer Luminizing Body Lotion. First off, this smells so good. It's made up of gardenia, jasmine, and honeysuckle, and it's just amazing. Let me show you what it looks like when it pumps out. So it looks a little bit brown, but once you rub it in, it just gives you that natural, healthy looking glow without feeling sticky at all. It just feels like regular lotion. That's what I have on right now. What I like to do is maybe do like two or three pumps and mix it in with my regular lotion and just put that literally all over my body and you're good to go. But yeah, that's it guys. Those are my top 10 all time favorite products to glow from head to toe. Bars. But really, these products are going to have you shining all summer and people are going to be wondering, like, if you're even human. If you found this useful, if you have any other favorite glow products, I would love to hear about them. Go ahead and comment below. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!